We're now going to talk about receiving prefixes from the upstream or transit provider. An upstream or transit provider is an ISP who you would pay to give you transit to the whole internet. This means that receiving prefixes from them is not desirable unless really necessary. This might sometimes be done for the purposes of traffic engineering, which will be discussed in BGP multi-homing presentations. In general, your upstream or transit provider will either originate a default route or announce one prefix you can use as default. An example of how a downstream router is configured to receive prefixes from the upstream or transit provider is shown on the screen. As you can see, only the default route is permitted from the upstream provider using the prefix list in filter, which is then applied as an inbound filter list. The prefix list out filter is used for configuring the prefix from the downstream router is announcing to the upstream, and this is applied as the outbound filter list. For the upstream router configuration, the reverse is applied, as you can see on the screen. Only the downstream provider prefixes is permitted on the prefix list cost in and applied as the inbound filter list. The default route, on the other hand, is permitted on the cost out prefix list and applied as the outbound filter list towards the downstream router. If it is necessary to receive prefixes from any provider, care is required. Don't accept default unless you need it. Don't accept your own prefixes. Special use prefixes for IPv4 and IPv6 are shown on the URL below for RFC 6890. Remember, one should not accept prefixes longer than a slash 24 for IPv4 or accept prefixes longer than a slash 48 for IPv6 as they are minimum prefix delegated to any site. Tools that will help you with upstream or pairing configurations are shown on the screen. You can check Team Kumri's list of bogons which provides a list of address blocks which should not appear on the internet. The Borgon route server can also be found on the URL shown on the screen. You can also look at RFC 6441 for slash 8 prefixes that should no longer be filtered. For IPv6, you can look at the URL on the screen, which gives you some recommendations as to what IPv6 filters you should be using. Examples of the various filters that can be used when using IPv4 is shown on the screen with comments of what each one of them does. Pay special attention to the red line, which indicates that you should not be receiving your prefix from your upstream provider. Examples for IPv6 filters are also shown on the screen. The various filters generally aid in avoiding security risk. In conclusion, Paying special attention to prefixes received from customers, peers, and transit providers generally assists with the integrity of the local network as well as the internet. It is the responsibility of all ISPs to be good internet citizens.